Hey guys, it's Mrs. Austin, and this morning I have a really fun nonfiction book for you guys. Um, it is a 4.7 on AR, but don't let that turn you away. If you are, you know, especially a younger grade, or if you're an older grade than fourth grade, like maybe your fifth grade, sixth grade, maybe your second or third grade, this book is really good for all ages. It's a lot of fun, so um, we are going to read it together. I will warn you that I'm a little limited on like camera space, so some of the pages might be cut off. I'm going to try and move the book around so you can see everything. But this is a nonfiction book. It's called I See Seafood, Sea Creatures That Look Like Food, and it's by Jenna Grzycki. Here we go. I See Seafood. Pineapples, pancakes, chocolate chip cookies are tasty treats, but did you know they all live in the ocean? What? That can't be right. Wait a minute. These fish kind of look like pineapples. That maybe looks like a swimming pancake. Are these chocolate chip cookies? I don't know. Or is it? The sea creatures aren't, these sea creatures aren't your normal seafood. These weird and wonderful animals look a lot like the foods we know and love. But their appetizing appearance isn't just for fun. Each animal has reasons for having features that happen to look like their tasty twins. Let's find out what those features are. There's our pineapple. An Australian pineapple fish swims slowly through a coral reef. Fruity fish. The armored scales of the Australian pineapple fish look a lot like the outside of the tropical fruit. Of course, the fish is not related to pineapples at all, but the sharp and spiky scales called scoots help protect it, protect it from predators. Australian pineapple fish, fast facts, also known as the night fish and pine cone fish, Species name. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. So species name is always in Latin, and I might get the pronunciations of these Latin names wrong, so don't judge me, okay? But it looks like it's Cleodopus gloriomeris, maybe? The size is up to 10 inches long. Okay, and just so you know, I did measure this book before we started, and one of these pages from here to here is about 10 inches. So that is about the size so this is a pretty life size right here. This is probably about like the actual size that this parrot fish or pineapple fish would be, right? So that's pretty, pretty true to life, okay? So the size is up to 10 inches. Range, the eastern, western, and southern coasts of Australia and Tasmania. Habitat, that means where does it live? Shallow coastal reefs, predators, sharks, and octopuses. Whoa, sharks eat this guy. Did you know the Australian pineapple fish appears to have a glowing mouth? This is because special glowing bacteria live in its mouth. Oh, what food does this look like? Looks kind of like an egg yolk, doesn't it? An egg yolk jellyfish drifts along with the tide, sunny side up. The delicate bell of the egg yolk jellyfish looks like a freshly cracked egg in the water. The egg yolk jelly dines on other jellyfish and it takes on the color of its prey. If the bell is white and yellow, the egg yolk jellyfish has been munching on moon jellies. But if it's more orange in appearance, you can bet it's been feeding on sea nettles. Interesting. Egg yolk jellyfish, fast facts. Also known as the fried egg jellyfish, the species name is Phallosophora kempsishata, I think. Bell diameter of 0.7 to 2 feet. 2 feet, guys. That's, that's like longer than this book. I can't even like make a, that, that long. I mean, that's really, really long. And tentacle length up of 10 to 20 feet. So if you have a mom or dad that's maybe like between 5 and 6 feet tall, it tentacles, that's like these little stringy things right here, can be anywhere from double your mom and dad's height to maybe even triple or quadruple your mom and dad's height, okay? Range, the Eastern Pacific Ocean. Habitat, cold water. So it likes cold water. Hmm. Its predators, the things that eat it, are sea turtles, more than 50 species of fish, other jellyfish, and some marine birds. How would a bird eat a two-foot jellyfish? I would like to know. I'm not sure, but they do. Did you know 
An egg yolk jellyfish can have hundreds of tentacles. We talked about how long they are. They're super duper long. Oh, what does this look like? These look like delicious star-shaped chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. A constellation of chocolate chip sea stars spreads out across the ocean floor. Milk and cookies. Dark brown, pointy horns that look like chocolate chips. There they are cover the chocolate chip sea star, but those horns aren't there to remind us of freshly baked cookies. They act like armor to help prevent hungry fish from taking a bite. Chocolate chip fast facts. Also known as the horned sea star, star horned starfish. Ooh, I'm tripping over my tongue today. Species name, Protorister nodosus. Size, eight to 16 inches, or 10 to 40 centimeters long. So let's see, eight inches would probably be like from here to there, okay? And then 16 would probably be like from here to here. So that's probably as, as big as it gets. That's pretty big, huh? All right, let's see. Range, the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Red Sea. Habitat, sandy and muddy lagoons and seagrass beds in warm, shallow waters. Predators are the triggerfish, the pufferfish, boxfish, and parrotfish. Did you know no two chocolate chip sea stars are exactly alike? And it's true if we look here, like this guy has like some orange on him, whereas this guy doesn't have the orange, and this guy's a little bit lighter, and this guy has like a little bit less orange, not so much orange up here, but he's got a whole lot of orange on his tummy, and this one's completely pale. So, I mean, they all look a little bit different. I bet they've all got a different number of horns, and they're all really unique, kind of like people, huh? We're all unique, too. Okay, look at this guy. He kind of looks like a banana. A banana wrasse swims in and out of the nooks and crannies of the reef. Banana split. A wrasse is a type of fish with thick lips and strong teeth. You might mistake this creature for a banana that's ripe for the peeling, but it's not a fruit at all. All female banana wrasses have banana colored scales. The males are rainbow colored. The difference in coloring makes it easier for banana wrasses to find mates. Banana wrasse, fun facts. Also known as the yellow brown wrasse, sunset wrasse, and yellow wrasse. Species name. Thassaloma lutzen. Lutzens? Size is 9 to 12 inches. So probably, hmm. yeah, this guy is probably actual size. This is probably about his actual size. Okay. The Indian Ocean, Hawaiian Islands, South and Southeastern Australia, and the Western Pacific Ocean are where it lives. Habitat, warm, shallow coastal waters, rocky reefs, and coral reefs. Predators are larger fish. Did you know there are more than 500 species of wrasses, including the banana wrasse? Let's see what food we see next. Let's see. Oh, this guy looks like something you might eat in a salad, huh? A lettuce sea slug creeps along the coral. All you can eat salad bar. The lettuce sea slug's ruffled leaves, or parapodoia, look a lot like the lettuce it's named after. The sea slug has a unique way of eating. First, it dines on algae. Then the lettuce sea slug uses a tiny part of the algae called chloroplast to perform photosynthesis. And if you haven't had this in science yet, photosynthesis is how plants make food. But it sounds like this guy eats algae, which are kind of like tiny plants. And then he uses their ability, photosynthesis, to make food for himself, which is pretty cool. The chloroplasts are stored inside the parapodoa, and they capture sunlight and use the light to help make sugar. The sugar then helps feed the sea slug, and the chloroplasts also give the lettuce sea slug its green hue. Lettuce sea slug fast facts, also known as the crawling leaf slug. Species name, Alicia crispata. Size, up to two inches. Okay. So let's talk about this one because two inches, it looks really big right here, but two inches is probably like, maybe like that long. So we've got this really big picture, but in reality, he's probably only like that long, right? Maybe even that long. So yeah, he's really, really tiny in real life. Okay. The range, he lives from the Caribbean Sea, from the Florida Keys to the Berm Buna, bleh, Bermuda Islands. I told you I'm tripping over my tongue this morning. Habitat, shallow waters and tropical reefs. Predators, no known predators. No one wants to eat him. 
Maybe he's not that tasty. I don't know. Did you know the ruffled shape of the peripodoa helps the sea slug get as much sunlight as possible? And peripodoa is kind of a funny word, but it just means all his little ruffles right here. Peripodoa is just all his little ruffles. So that helps him get lots of sunlight to make as much food as he can. Oh, this guy looks like a pancake. A Louisiana pancake batfish swims near the bottom of the ocean. Pass the syrup. The Louisiana pancake batfish is small, round, and flat, just like a pancake. Its skin is bumpy and looks like a pancake that was left sitting out for too long. <laughs> That's gross, huh? The pancake-like shape and coloring of the fish provide camouflage. The Louisiana pancake batfish lies on the ocean floor to hide from predators. Louisiana pancake batfish fast facts, also known as the tortilla fish. So it also kind of looks like a tor tortilla, I think. Species name is Haliotichthys intermedius, I think. Size is up to four inches long. This is another one where he looks kind of big, but in reality, he's probably only about like maybe that big, that long. So maybe like half this, this picture is actually his real size. Okay, so pic picture this picture like that much smaller. Okay, that's how, how big he actually is. The range of where he lives is the Gulf of Mexico and parts of the southern Atlantic by Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas. So you may have been swimming by him and not even known it. Habitat is seabeds in deep waters. Predators are marlins, tuna, and other fish. Did you know the Louisiana pancake batfish uses its fins to walk along the ocean floor? So it uses them kind of like little feet, huh? Oh, this guy looks like an apple. A sea apple perches on a coral reef. Red delicious. The colorful sea apple is not a fruit at all. It's a type of animal known as a sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers are oval-shaped ocean animals with tough, spiny, bumpy skin. The sea apple is shaped like an oval most of the time, but when it senses danger, it sucks in a large amount of water. This causes the sea apple's body to inflate into a round shape. This is kind of round right here. And it quickly floats away. Sea apple fast facts, also known as the violet sea cucumber. Species name is Pseudococlorus violaceus. Size is four to eight inches. So four to eight. This guy's probably actual size. That's, that's probably close to actual size, I would think. The range that it lives, the Indian Ocean and western part of the Pacific Ocean. Habitat is in coral reefs and tropical waters. Predators are some kinds of fish. Did you know sea apples breathe through their butts? Well, that is very good to know. How would you like to breathe through your butt? Hmm? All right, this guy, I guess he kind of looks like cauliflower. I don't know. This one I think is a little bit of a stretch. The cauliflower jellyfish swims through the open ocean with its long filaments trailing behind. Just add butter. The cauliflower jellyfish may remind you to eat your vegetables. It has large curly arms that look like the cauliflower on your dinner plate. Without these arms, the cauliflower jellyfish would go hungry. The arms collect tiny animals from the water and then the cauliflower jellyfish sends the food up to its four stomachs. Cauliflower jellyfish fast facts also known as the crown jellyfish. Species name is Cepia Cepia. Size is of the bell, which is like his little top head here, is 20 to 24 inches. So as big as this book and a little bit bigger, okay? Range is the tropical Pacific, the Indian Ocean, and the Red Sea. Habitat is open waters. Predators are sea turtles and other jellyfish. Man, sea turtles really love to eat some jellies, huh? Did you know a cauliflower jellyfish has no heart, brain, or blood? Well, then what does it have? It's just kind of a sack of like water floating around, I guess. All right. Oh, one last one. A pizza crust sea slug. Now I can totally see this. This definitely looks like a pizza crust. It inches along a rocky reef. Extra cheese, please. If you saw this creature, you might think someone dropped a piece of pizza on the ocean floor. But really, it's a sea slug. The pizza crust sea slug is covered in small round bumps called tubercles. These tubercles look a lot like bits of cheese and pepperoni, and scientists believe its coloring and shape could help the pizza crust sea slug blend into its environment. Pizza crust sea slug fast facts. 
also known as the Atlantic sidegill slug or warty sidegill slug. Species name, Pleurobronchus erliotis, I think. Size is 1.2 to 2 inches. Okay, so let's talk about this because this guy looks really big, but his actual size is probably like that to that. So he's probably like that size. So he's probably teeny, teeny, tiny. This is just a big photograph that's blown him up really big. Range is the tropical western Atlantic. Habitat is rocky reefs. He has no known predators. No one wants to eat the pizza sea slug. Did you know a pizza crust sea slug has a shell on the inside of its body? Huh, interesting. Thousands of creatures of all shapes and sizes live in the world's oceans. Scientists believe that there are many more out there yet to be discovered. But when it comes to ocean animals, sharks, dolphins, whales, and sea turtles get most of the attention. The weird and wonderful sea creatures deserve some love too. I would agree with that. These are pretty awesome. Maybe this list of seafood lookalikes will continue to grow. The next discovery could be yours. It has a glossary back here where it tells you what each one of the words that we read means. Um, there's different things like algae, right? Plant-like living things that use the sunlight to make their food. Remember that was from the lettuce out, the lettuce little sea slug. Bell is the umbrella-like body of a jellyfish. Camouflage is the way of hiding something by covering or coloring it so it looks like its surroundings. Chloroplast is a structure found in plants and algae that helps turn sunlight into usable energy. Filaments are thin thread-like attachments. They're like the strings at the bottom of the jellyfish. Mate, a member of an animal pair that breeds to produce babies. Parapodea, ruffled flaps of tissue on the lettuce sea slug that look like leaves. Photosynthesis, the process by which animals and the lettuce sea slug take energy from the sun and change it into food. I guess I said animals. The process by which plants change it into food. Predator, an animal that gets its food by eating other animals. Prey, an animal that is hunted and killed by another animal for food. Range, the geographical area where a species lives. Scoots, bony plates or scales. Sea cucumber, ocean animals shaped like cylinders with tough, spiny, bumpy skin. Species, a group of similar things that living things that are able to mate and produce offspring with one another. Tentacles, the long, flexible, arm-like parts of, a ten of an animal that stick out around its head or mouth and are used for grabbing things and moving. Tubercles, tubercles, <laughs> the small lumps or bumps. Seafood or me food. Can you tell the differences between the food you'd expect to see on your plate and the creatures living in the ocean? Check the next page to see if you guessed right. That looks like that crazy cauliflower jellyfish to me, so I think that's seafood. And this is definitely the bumps on the chocolate chip starfish, so that's seafood. I think this is probably me food. I think this is probably really an egg. And this looks like a close-up of like a strawberry. I think that's probably me food. I don't know what this is, but it looks like maybe an orange. Me food is my guess. This looks like the lettuce slug, I think. And then this looks like me food, like actual cauliflower. Let's see if we are right. It tells me seafood, seafood, me food, me food, me food, seafood, me food. We were right. Good job. Okay. Then also back here, it has some further reading of different books that you can look up. And then also it has the photo acknowledgements for all the different photos we saw. So that is the end of Seafood Seafood, which is one of my favorite books. I see seafood. So cool. All right. Thanks for reading with me.